that's another thing I've tried to do in the books is uh, to, to reflect the difficulty of rule because it is very difficult. It's, it's hard and you don't see that in a lot of fantasy. I don't know if you've read a lot of fantasy or not, but you know, you look at Tolkien and, and uh, at the end of the books, Sauron has been defeated, Aragorn is king, and Tolkien just says that he, he ruled wisely and well for 500 years or whatever. And it's easy to type, you know, he ruled wisely and well. But then you start asking yourself, what, what does that constitute, ruling wisely and well? I mean, um, what was his tax policy? Uh, how did the economy function, uh, you know, under, under him? Did he encourage trade? Did he discourage it? Uh, what about the class system, you know, the rising... Uh, peasantry and the, and, and the uh, burgeoning middle class, was the, those encouraged or put down? Did he give power to the aristocracy? The orcs, there are still tens, thousands of orcs left over at the end of Lord of the Rings. Did he pursue a policy of genocide toward them? Or did he reach out to try to educate the orcs and bring them into the mainstream and uh, civilize them? We never get answers to any of these questions. We just get, he rules wisely and well. What I've tried to do in, in showing uh, rulers as diverse as, uh, as Robert and Ned Stark and um, Cersei Lannister and Daenerys Targaryen is show people who achieve a position of power and then what do they do with it? How do they deal with the, the divisions in their societies, the hatreds in societies, the violence and crime and, you know, economic matters, you know? I have Danny trying to deal with, well, what the hell can she grow, you know, the, the, there was a scorched earth policy when she took over the thing and they burned all of the, uh, the olive trees, which were the main crop, so, and they take like seven years to regrow, so uh, or what's her city going to produce to survive for those seven years? All of this stuff is interesting to me. Mm -hmm.